Hello, dear ones, it's Hannah. I know that we're in the middle of this world quarantine for coronavirus right now, and a lot of people are afraid for various reasons, and so I'm going to cut to the chase and give you one of my very favorite ways to combat fear, to make myself feel better when I'm afraid of something. It's called CTT, or Consciousness Transformation Technique. I use it every single day in my life for all sorts of things. It's not just for fear, it's it's for anything, helping you transcend and transmute any feeling at all and or bring things to you um, in your life that you want. Um, it was uh, created by a man named George who lives in Washington State. I think his last name is Duisman. Maybe it's Duisman. I'm not sure how he pronounces it. D-U-I-S-M-A-N. It's a combination of EFT and um, EMDR. It's really easy. And so what you're going to do in order to do it is repeat after me. I'm going to do it for fear, but again, you can use it for anything at all. So repeat after me. You're going to tap on your um, arms, just back and forth. Any number between 1 and 10 on each side. It doesn't have to be the same number on either side. You don't have to pay attention. I just tap a few times on one side and then a few times on the other while you repeat this. There's a part of me that knows how to let go and heal these feelings of, and then list whatever your feelings are. So we'll do it for fear. There's a part of me that knows how to let go and heal this fear, this worry that I'm not going to be able to survive financially, this fear of not being connected to the people that make me feel good in the world, this fear of being alone, this fear of not being important, this fear of not being safe or protected or cared for, and then throw in whatever else uh, f you're feeling right now surrounding this. Um, you can even just talk about the situation. Double bonus if you can like really get yourself to feel it in this moment um, or cry um, from feeling it so strongly. So just to recap, there's a part of me that knows how to let go and heal all these things we just said. Now repeat after me again. <clears throat> this part of my being is willing to inform the rest of me now. It is doing so now with unlimited love, grace, and ease. My mind, body, spirit, and biofield are receiving the love, healing, information, permission, and deep relief now. And I want you to take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And another one. And then repeat again. My soul and bile field have healed and released these energies completely now. And in their place, I fully and completely integrate and embody the energies of and list whatever you do want. So I'll say... In their place, I fully and completely integrate and embody the energies of peace, of trust, of higher knowing and wisdom, of deeper understanding, of knowing that I'm always cared for and I'm never alone, of the feeling of relief, and of gratitude. And then repeat after me again. Information transfer is now complete. So be it. It is done. And take another deep breath. And one more. And see how you feel. And oftentimes going through that once um, is enough to completely clear something that's just come up in an acute way. If it's deeper, you might need to do it a few times. Um, or explore a little deeper. I do this a lot with clients. Um, they call it having a mini session. And it can be helpful if you're doing it in a group of people. So like when I do it with clients, I'm tapping for them, which adds my energy to what they're processing and going through. And I can feel it move in my body as well, um, helping them go through this process and we also can go through some other lifetimes in the waking state um, to help clear other energies that might be related but this is the basic way of doing it for yourself i do it 
like I said, every single day for myself for various things. You also can do it to manifest positive things and you would just change the words. Like there's a part of me that knows how to receive miracles and blessings and insights. And then you go on with the other words. Um, so I hope that that's helpful. I wanted to get that in the beginning um, so that anyone that wants to watch this video to do that right away can do it. But also I have some other suggestions of things that have been helping me and that I know help in general when you're feeling scared and stressed. One, make sure you're going outside and getting some fresh air every single day and some sunlight or whatever light is outside, whether it's a cloudy day or a rainy day. If you're not allowed to go outside or not able just be in the like in a window or open a window if you can or poke your head out the door. Make sure you get some good fresh breaths. Along those lines also, number two, take some deep breaths, deep slow breaths. When we're in an anxious state, <clears throat> we tend to breathe fast and high. If when you breathe, your shoulders go up, um, that's more indicative of not taking really deep breaths. When you breathe, you want your belly to go out. So practice breathing in that way because it utilizes more of your lung space. Um, and that can really help calm down your emotions. Also, remember to bring your focus back to the present moment. Just being in this one moment can be <sighs> such a good reminder that, okay, even though all this stuff is going on in the world, right now in my life, if I tuned that out, I'm doing fine. I'm sitting in my house with my dog. I have, things are calm. I have no reason to fear. Um, so just bring yourself back to this moment and remind yourself that you're okay right now and you can get through this moment. Um, maybe it's even really beautiful. Um... If you have an ability to tune into any higher knowing, my guides told me earlier today that it was really important to do that every day, especially when you're in a stress state or a fear state, to tune back into that place of higher knowing, whether you do that through meditation or guided imagery or <clears throat> deep breathing or journeying or quantum healing or whatnot. Um, when you can tune back into that part of you that knows that everything is okay um, and sees things from a higher perspective and make that a regular part of your routine, then you build those neural pathways and it gets easier, easier and easier to do it even in stress states. Um, make sure that you are following your excitement and creativity and um, inspiration any creative impulses that you're doing, those are ways that your higher self guides you. And this is a time where we have most of us more time right now to put into doing those things that we love. And the more that we can cultivate that um, joy and creativity and love in the world, it is infectious and it helps. Um, every little bit contributes to the whole. And so every bit of time you spend doing that makes a big difference. Um, and then my last tip is tune out the mass media if you haven't already and really try and focus on uh, the things that make you feel good. Um, my experience of tuning out the media, which I've done like for the last three years, is that I still know generally what's going on and I get enough of it just through daily life. Um, that I'm not in the dark or anything, um, but I'm not being strung along with the minutia of what's being reported. Um, and so I don't tend to be, have my fear triggered in the same way that many people do. So I hope any of those suggestions are helpful for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out anytime. My name is Hannah Fogg. I'm a quantum healer in the state of Maine in the United States. And um, I get to work with people all over the world through the wonders of the internet. So if you want to reach out to have a session for yourself or um, if you would like some help, uh, I would 
love to help you, please feel free to reach out. I'll list my website below, um, and you can find it and find all the information about how to contact me there. All right, take care and take deep breaths and know that I love you and we will get through this together. All right, take care. Bye.